See that track right there? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that's a dog track. Really? Yeah, I'm pr oh. pretty sure it is because what yeah. I did was found this gopher hole and I put some water on it, had a dog run across it so we could get a good track. Oh. So I can show you how when you go out into the woods and you find a nice track of an opossum or a beaver or something, you can make a plaster cast of it and take it home. Ooh, okay. Here's what you do. First you get out of, this is a piece of file folder, mm -hmm. and you make it so it's just slightly bigger than the cast, or than the track, and then you can push it down like this, so you make a little fence around it like that. Okay. Okay. Now we have to make the, here's some plaster of Paris. Mm -hmm. Put about four heaping teaspoons four? in that rim. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen plaster of Paris before? Yeah, I had it um, put in my mouth one time at the orthodontist. Mm -hmm. And you've heard of people that have broken their legs and have to have yeah, it in a cast. Yeah, on a cast, Well, that's yeah. what they make it out of. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Put in two more. Okay. What you have to do is try to gauge how much you're going to do depending on the size of the track. Okay. Okay. Now let's get that. Oh, keep the spoon because I want you to stir oh, okay. it as I add a little water. Okay. Okay, stir it up. What you want to make it is about this, the consistency of sort of whipped cream. Oh, yeah, sort of. Or maybe a little thicker than that. Maybe okay. like, uh, okay, now we got to add a little, add a a little more of this. You keep stirring. Okay. Try to get rid of all the bubbles. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. getting, getting thick nice and, now. Now it's getting a little thicker. And plastered. Just a little more. Okay. okay. Stir it up. There you go. Okay. Okay, now carefully pour it right inside that little fence. Okay, here's the spoon. Okay, go ahead. Pour it in the fence. All of it at the once? The whole thing, just okay. pour it all over. Great. Oh, it's kind of mushy. It is yeah. kind of like mud, too. Okay. Now, while it's still wet, I'm going to mm -hmm. put this paper clip bent up like this, right like that. Okay. Now, that's going to get hard. It'll take a while. And what happens when it gets hard? It'll hold onto that paper clip, and now you can hang the finished track on your wall. Okay. Also, when it gets a little harder, you should put your name and the date and where you found it as you're going to make a collection. Okay, I'll do that. When you find a track that you don't know what, a, what kind of an animal it is, mm -hmm. what you should do is have a book like this. Look. Yeah, Pocket Guide to Animal Tracks. Yes, and here you'll find all the animals that you might find out in the woods. Muskrat, mink, mm -hmm. beaver, porcupine, porcupine fox. fox. And you look for them Wolves. along streams and ponds where there's nice mud where they make a, leave a nice track. Okay. Bobcat, Canadian Mink, lynx. Cougar. Yeah, badger, badger. weasel, deer. White tail. Black tail. Notice, and notice deer. they don't have dog because these are all wild animals. Yeah, they're wild animals. Okay. So we'll let that sit there for a while. Okay. And when it gets nice and hard, you'll see a beautiful track. Yeah. Okay, check it with your finger, Tana, see if it's hard. Okay. Yeah, it's hard okay, enough. Okay, now take the spoon and dig underneath it. So you pick up the whole track, dirt and all. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. There you go. Yeah, can you just bring the whole thing over here to the bucket now? Okay. Very good. Now I'll take this off. Now let's get off some of the major Outside part of the dirt. dirt. Okay, now let's put it in the bucket and wash off as much as we can. Okay. Okay, it's almost off. Well, here, let's take a look at it. Because okay. later on, you can clean it up real good. You could even paint it. And mm -hmm. there comes the track of a dog using a plaster of Paris, and you can make a whole collection of wild animal tracks.